All right, it's time to talk about episode two of season one of the Young Indiana Jones Chronicles. Again, I'm watching the original format, which was restored on YouTube by various YouTube channels. I think I'm gonna link uh, in the description what version I've been watching. Okay, so episode one, the pilot, Young Indiana Jones and the Curse of the Jekyll, was basically a TV movie. But the second episode is normal. It's 45 minutes. So pretty standard. Titled London, May 1916. And this one was directed by Carl Schulz. So let's get into the story. Again, we begin with Old Indy. In 1992, which is obviously when this episode came out, and he's talking to his lawyer or like bank accountant or something in a restaurant. And Indy overhears like an old British woman talking about something. And it reminds him of the time he fell in love with a woman in London in May 1916. When he and his friend, the Belgian Remy, went there to enlist in the Belgian army. You know, to join the Great War. Which is where we left off with the pilot, Curse of the Jekyll. The story then just follows young Indy essentially trying to get laid before he goes to war. And it is pretty funny, I gotta say. First off, the scene where Indy and Remy enlist is pretty funny because Indy is pretending to be Belgian and he gives himself the name Henry Defense. And the Belgian army guy there immediately realizes that Indy is just bullshitting but he doesn't care because the Belgian army accepts anyone. Then we get an attempt by Indy to flirt with a war widow on a bus who just punches him. And then Indy meets another lady on the bus who's actually working there, Vicky, who is the main love interest of the episode. And they escape from a Zeppelin bombing by the Germans. And then after that, the rest of the episode is just Indy and Vicky, you know, getting closer, starting a relationship. She's a feminist, which is fun. Indy going to like a meeting of these ladies demanding like equal pay for equal work and all that. He and Vicky actually visit Miss Seymour, you know, his tutor lady. And that's fun. We get a dinner scene where Vicky insults Winston Churchill. And the story also ends in a tragic way for Indy because he and Vicky split up because she doesn't want to marry him yet because she realizes she will never be able to like live her life and like realize her dreams. But then we get back to old Indy in 1992 and it turns out the old British lady that he has overheard, you know, on the other table is actually Vicky. And they reunite after an entire lifetime. I'm not the biggest fan of like romance stories, but this one was pretty good. It was very fun. And the old indie bookends really tied the whole thing together. I legit think this works better with the old indie bookends than in the Adventures re-edit, where old indie obviously isn't present. So the story really just ends with Indy and Vicky splitting up and never seeing each other again. And this little emotional moment at the end... It's nice, I like it. Fun fact, the actor for Old Indy, George Hall, he liked working with that old Vicky actress so much, he wanted a series final where Old Indy marries Vicky. And honestly, I'm okay with that. So yeah, after not liking it that much, I thought it was okay on my first viewing in the Adventures re-edits, but watching this episode just on its own, as this 45 minute episode with Old Indy to tie the thing together, this is a great little episode. I would highly recommend. And we shall see if this continues next time. Next time we're gonna go back to young little kid Indy with the episode number three, British East Africa, September 1909.